Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I wanted to take a few minutes to do two things. Number one, to talk about the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering so you know what to expect. These are some of the early items that we know about. The show is still in the works. It doesn't happen until September, so there is a lot more to come. And in future videos, you'll be hearing about all of that. And then the second half of this video, um, we have started to receive some of the door prizes. And I want to show you guys some of the absolutely incredible door prizes that we are going to have at the show this year. And I really think you're going to like some of these prizes. They are really cool. So let me start this off. Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering will be in Belpre, Ohio. It will be held the 21st and 22nd of September. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. So start making plans now to go to the show. The website for the show ended up going down. The, the web hosting provider basically called Jason and said, hey, I'm going out of business. And he shut down the website for the show and he shut down Jason's business website. So Jason has been scrambling to get his business online first because that's his livelihood. And now they are working on getting the website together for the show. The expected go live date for the website is uh, June 1st. Had to think about that for a second. June the 1st, we expect the website to be up. I'm not sure when he will open ticket sales for the show, but the new website will allow you to purchase tickets online and receive your ticket. I think you can print it out and bring it with you. I'll know more, and I promise to share more with you when I hear more about the website. Uh, and we want to get all of these vendor prizes that we're getting on the website along with the vendor contact information so you guys can go down and check out, you know, uh, what kind of prizes are going to be at the show because it's going to be a great year this year. It's going to be the best year ever, I'm, I'm positive. Um, vendors at the show. These are the ones we already know about. There are a lot of people talking to Jason, just trying to work out schedules, that type of stuff. But Speakeasy Pin Emporium and Supply Company will be there. Drop Anchor Creations, Crosscut Creations, BRS Creations, Stadium Pin Blanks, Leaping Lemur, Diamond Cast, Classic Nib slash Arizona Silhouettes, they've combined, and Blank Works. Now those are the confirmed vendors we expected to show. We are hoping to have a whole lot more. It's really exciting. Um, one new thing this year, we're at a new venue. This new venue has a concrete floor. So if you get sawdust on it, it's not a big deal. So the vendors are being encouraged to set up at their booths. They could have a lathe and show you how they turn their blanks or how they finish their blanks, or they could have a casting pot and show you how they cast. We're encouraging vendors to have live demos at their booths. I hope they take us up on this and I hope they do that because I think it would be really cool uh, to be able in, in the actual sales floor to be able to see products being used at the tables where they're selling them. So we'll keep you posted more on this. So far, I don't know of any vendors that are gonna do it, but it's still really early in the game. Demos at the show. Now, this is a big one. We've already got uh, four demos lined up and Jason is in communication with a bunch of people. I talked to him just a few minutes ago. Um, I don't know Tara's last name and I have to apologize. He told me he would get it for me, but Tara is going to do a casting demo. So I'm excited about that. Braxton Frank, uh, Frankenberry, sorry, Braxton Frankenberry is bringing his fiberglass laser. He's going to do a demo with his fiberglass laser. So that's going to be really cool to see. I've never seen a fiberglass laser before, so I'm excited about that. Scott Vaughn is going to turn a coffee bean blank. He's going to show you his method, his process for turning and finishing coffee bean blanks. And if you've ever turned those, you know they can be difficult. So it'll be great to see a demo from somebody who is really good at it, who can give you some tips and hopefully help you uh, achieve success with coffee bean blanks. And then I plan to do a demo and my demo this year is going to be bespoke on a budget. And uh, what it is, it's, it's just an entry it's kind of an entry point for bespoke printing, turning. A lot of people say, hey, I want to learn how to turn these bespoke artisan kitless pins, but then they find out it's multi hundreds of dollars for tools. And I tried to whittle it down to just the bare minimum tools, uh, hopefully many of which you already have, so that you can at least give it a try to see if it's right for you before you um, take off and start spending the money uh, to actually get into the hobby full-blown uh, bespoke artisan kitless pin turning. More demos coming soon, I promise you. Hopefully about every three, four weeks, I'd like to do this update video and uh, you'll hear about any additions at that point. Some of the fun stuff going on at the show. 
We are going to do pins for troops. So I encourage you, if you're coming to the show and you got some extra kits laying around your shop and a few extra blanks, start turning some pins that we can donate to our troops. We want to show respect. We want to thank these people for how how hard they're, what they're doing for us. Okay, they're they're keeping us free and they're giving us the opportunity to do shows like this because they're protecting our country and our sovereignty. So please consider turning a couple of pins, bringing them to the show, and donating them. Um, Kit in a bucket and blank in a bucket. This is one of my favorites. And I actually won the kit in a bucket last, I'm, I'm sorry, I won the blank in a bucket last year. And the guy that won the kit in the bucket really wanted the blanks, so we swapped. And I ended up with the kits, which was cool with me. But the neat thing about this is there's a five gallon bucket there and it's got a hole in the top. And essentially you bring a pin kit or you bring a blank, drop it in the bucket, you get a ticket. At the end of the show, they draw and whoever has the ticket gets every blank in the blank bucket. And when they draw for the kit bucket, you get every kit in the kit bucket. So that's really kind of cool and it's kind of fun. Uh, I, I participate in that every year and I always enjoy that one. Uh, we are going to do a pin swap. Now this is fun. Generally what they do is we had, I'm gonna say about 25 people, maybe 30 last year, and they got in a great big circle and they just started passing the pins right or left, I forget which way. And when they said stop, everybody stopped and that was the pin you got. And there were some incredible pins in the uh, pin swap last year. Uh, it was really amazing. I hope you guys consider turning a pin and bringing it to uh, to the swap because you'll have a great time. We are going to have a lathe room and the lathe room is kind of neat because uh, if you come to the show, you can buy some kits, buy some blanks and go turn some pins for the troops. Maybe turn a pin for the uh, pin swap or just kind of hang out in there with other turners, share stories, uh, share ideas and just just kind of maybe try to learn some stuff. It's always fun. I like to spend a lot of time in the lathe room. It's just a great place to be. Um, another new addition to this show, we are this year, you're, we are allowed to bring food into the, the uh, arena where the sales floor is. Uh, you can also bring drinks. Right now, we're asking non-alcoholic drinks. Keep them, keep them clean for right now, guys. I don't know that they'll open up for alcoholic drinks or not, but Food and non-alcoholic drinks are welcome to be brought in. So midday, you can leave, go out to McDonald's, get your burger, fries, and a Coke, come back to the show, and you can carry it around and eat it if you like. Uh, there is a kitchen in this facility, and Jason is currently searching for an organization who would like to run that kitchen. Uh, we don't have anybody yet, but as, as things change and I learn a little more, I will let you know in the next update video. That's all I've got so far on the show. There's a lot more gonna be coming. Stay tuned for these updates now. What I wanna do is step aside and show you what we've got so far in store for door prizes. So stick around and check these out. You're gonna like them. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I am coming to you from my workshop to talk about the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering. Now this year, I kind of got drafted into uh, helping gather door prizes for the show. And that's what I've been working on. I've had a lot of help from Robert Dodinsky over at Crosscut Creations, and I'll put a link to his channel uh, in the video description down below. And we have uh, interacted with a number of fantastic vendors, and I've got um, several items here, five items today that we need to open to show you guys some the caliber of some of the great prizes we are gonna have this year. Before I start opening these, I wanna let you guys know these vendors, we reached out to them and they put their trust in us. They didn't know me from Adam. Many of them hadn't heard of the show. I had to pass along a little information about it, uh, but they, they took a leap of faith in us and they stepped up and donated prizes for us to give to you as door prizes at the show. So what I want you to do, if you look at any of these prizes you see today and you've been considering uh, purchasing something similar, I want you to give these companies first crack at your business because the companies that support us are the companies that we need to support. We need to reciprocate and show them the love that they've shown us. To make this just a little easier to see because it is incredibly impressive, I went ahead and uh, pulled all of the boxes out of the main box and got them open so that I can show you the blanks. Each box contains 20 blanks. This is a box of 20 curly maple blanks. We have 20 gorgeous Bolivian rosewood blanks. These are incredible. We've got this box of mixed hardwoods. It comes with Adler, ash, butternut, cherry, curly maple, hard maple, red cedar, sycamore, walnut, and white oak. 
and then we'll have two separate boxes. These are identical boxes of uh, the identical mix of hardwoods. They come with a, a bloodwood, Bolivian rosewood, canary wood, lacewood, mahogany, paduk, purple heart, wenge, yellow heart, and zebra wood. The generosity here is just unbelievable. Um, I am so excited to receive all of these beautiful hardwoods. And as a pin turner, I would consider it an honor to be gifted any one of these five boxes. I'd like to say a special thank you to Akochi Hardwoods. And if you have any hardwood needs whatsoever, their contact information will be in the description of this video. Please check them out. Uh, they don't just sell pin blanks. You can get larger pieces of wood and uh, they have some amazing products. So please uh, do patron this vendor. Take a look at this. CWP jumped in and gave us 120 charcoal spectraply blanks to give away. What I think we're gonna do with these is we're gonna put them in packs of 15, which will give us eight separate giveaways uh, at the show. So be looking forward to these. You guys know I love Spectraply. I use it in a lot of my blanks that I make, my custom blanks. Uh, so I'm so excited. CWP, thank you so much for your donation. We truly do appreciate it. All of their contact information will be in the video description. I'm really excited about this donation from Easy Inlay. This is so cool. What they sent us is a pack of their Easy Inlay Metal Flake, copper, silver, and gold. Um, this will be one giveaway, and they actually sent a separate set of this directly to me so that I can kind of play with it in uh, my pin turning. So I'm excited about that. I have to come up with some projects that I wanna do, so you guys will see some of this on the channel. Uh, and the second giveaway will be this incredible, it's a size 12 ring. It comes with the tweezers and it comes with Bermuda opal and Sahara opal so that you can basically make your own custom ring. This will be a great way for somebody to get started. I know a lot of our turners have been getting into turning rings uh, and inlaying stone in their pins. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with this. So I'm really excited to have these items uh, at the show to be given away. Thank you so much, Easy Inlay. They were incredible to talk to, incredible to deal with. I had a great conversation with them. And uh, if you are looking for any Inlay products, their contact information is gonna be in the description of this video. Please check this company out. They are a small business. They are willing to step up and help us. Let's us step up and help them. Check this out. Milescraft jumped in and sent me a pin press. Now they sent me one as a giveaway at the show and they sent me a second pin press and in the note it said, we'd love to see you use one of our pin presses in your video. What they did not realize is Milescraft is and has been my preferred pin press for about the last three, maybe four years. I already have a Milescraft uh, pin press that I use in every one of my videos where you see me assemble a pin. So what I'm going to do is donate the second one to the show and we're going to have two awesome prizes to give away at MOV PTG. Contact information for Milescraft will be in the video description. I'm super excited about this next giveaway for the show. This came to us from Blackstone Industries. This is a 100th anniversary limited edition, number 157 of 1008, custom case and all, a complete Fordham tool setup. Take a look at this. Now I am not going to pull everything out. That should be the honor of the person who wins it. I just wanna give you a little taste of what we're looking at. There's the hand tool. We've got some little implements here for the tool. We've got the certificate of authenticity that it is number 157. It's all marked on there. It is a K100 and somebody is gonna be so lucky to win this. This is an incredible tool and I'm so excited to have it and to be able to offer it as one of the prizes at the show. I'd like to say thank you so much to Blackstone Industries and if you are looking for anything in regard to carving tools, um, the, the Fordham tool, any implements, these are the guys you wanna contact and I will make sure all of their contact information is in the comments to this, or the description to this video. I'm gonna get this back in the plastic bag and sealed back in the box because I wanna make sure nothing happens to this, this gorgeous case uh, because somebody is gonna be super happy to receive this.
I really hope you enjoyed these prizes. I've been so excited talking to these vendors and, and working with them, getting prizes donated. The prizes, they're amazing. These prizes are awesome. And I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. In the description to this video, every one of those vendors will have their contact information. I encourage you, they donated to our show. So I want you to go out and check their websites and see if they have what you need before you buy somewhere else. Work with them and try to support them because without them, we wouldn't have all these great prizes to give to you. Special thanks to the vendors. Thank you for hanging out and watching this video. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening and start saving for that show. I want to see you there. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.